good morning. It is March 24th, so that means this is my first official hike of spring. Today, I am hiking Granite Lakes, which is a lake I've done before, but not this early in the season. It is still completely snowed in and frozen over. Um, this trail is eight and a half miles with 2,200 feet of gain, so it's a good one. And I have crystal clear skies today, so the views of the mountains are going to be phenomenal. Um, I'm also excited because this is my last hike in Washington this month, because I am going out of the state this next week. Um, you can guess where I'm gonna go, but ah, it is good to see the early spring mountains. It is cold though, it is um, still below freezing, so I gotta get going to warm up, but views are gonna be pretty. reached the first little viewpoint. This is like the Granite Creek Overlook where there's this beautiful kind of view through the trees of the mountains and then um, has this nice little bench area to check out the view. And I mean, I think this would be nice as a shorter hike in and of itself. This is very pretty. <sighs> Let's see, um, I know this mountain over here, that's Mount Tenerife. Um, this might be Green Mountain. I'm not sure, but that's definitely Mount Tenerife, so pretty good view. So the uh, first half of this trail winds up some pretty gentle switchbacks through this beautiful mossy forest because it's going up a valley between two mountains and it is gorgeous like I love this mossy forest this is along the Middle Fork Road so it gets plenty of rain and not a lot of sunlight which makes for very pretty Pacific Northwest woods um, lighting right now since you know it's early spring and everything doesn't make for great filming in this part though but it is pretty and I'm almost to the Granite Creek crossing and allegedly according to the beta I have um, should be hitting the snow within the next half mile or so we'll see just crossed Granite Creek um, and the sun is chasing me. The sun is gonna hit this valley in the next 10, 20 minutes and oh boy, that is gonna be beautiful. It has been, it is gorgeous watching the forest fill with 
sunlight. <sighs> but on the final, well, the second half of this trail, I'm still like a couple miles out, but, ah, and as you can see, there's also snow, so we'll be putting on the spikes soon. I am now firmly on the snow. Branch just caught on the camera. And also within a mile of the lake. And this is gorgeous. This early light filling the forest and reflecting off the snow. Um, I'm sure you can see I had to put on my, my sunglasses because yeah, it's getting bright, but it is a beautiful time of day and a beautiful time of year for that matter, but uh, final stretch up to the lake. Let's go. I give you Granite Lake, and I'm sure you can see the sun is warm and I get to do this. <laughs> it is it is like 60 degrees right now, especially with the reflection off the snow. I had to put on sunscreen. Oh my goodness, this is, sorry, it is bright, but this is an amazing start to spring hiking. I am, oh my gosh, it feels so good to not have to wear a coat. <sighs> the wind is warm. It is warm. That is the wind of changing seasons. <laughs> oh my gosh, but this is incredible. The lake is still mostly frozen, but I'm definitely going to get some shots and uh, check out a couple of viewpoints here. But oh my goodness, this feels amazing.
this is incredible. I, I just can't believe how good this feels. It, it really does feel like spring, even though I'm completely surrounded by snow. But um, I will give the tour. So up here, um, that is Dirty Harry's Peak. And then further down is Dirty Box. And then I believe over here is Putrid Pete's Peak or part of the ridge that leads to it. And then this, of course, is granite lake and it is completely frozen over um i have a video where i went to this lake back in may last year and showed what it looks like melted out and i do think it is quite beautiful melted out it is very clear water and there's some beautiful reflections to be had but ah, this is also incredible <laughs> And I want to clarify something. Um, it may look like in a couple of these shots that I'm walking on the lake. I am not. Uh, I know this lake and I know where the bank is and I know the what the ground is like underneath. Um, so I know I'm not gonna post whole crazies like through some logs or rocks or anything. Um, but I have been here before and I do know where to walk so that I do not plunge into icy cold water because that would be very dangerous. But this is just, your daily reminder not to walk on frozen lakes, especially during spring melt. Well, I just inhaled my granola bar and I am saying goodbye to Granite Lake and heading out. This weather is phenomenal. I'm just, this is surreal for me at least. Um, <sighs> I hike year round, but I am a very uh, cold-natured person, so like I don't do well in the cold, so getting warm summer weather like this is very fun for me because then I don't have to worry so much about not freezing constantly. <sighs> but the view back down the valley is going to be gorgeous, and uh, I do kind of have to hustle because I have to be down back to my car by... 1.30 at the latest. It is currently 11.30, so definitely have plenty of time to get there, but <sighs> man, what a what a great day. I almost didn't pick doing this hike. I almost went somewhere else. I'm so glad I came back here. <sighs> So I'll show one of the pains of doing this trail with so much snow because there's so many creek crossings and they've melted. There's a lot of going down steep snow steps and then back up steep snow steps the other side. Whereas um, when this melts out, this would just be like a regular grade, but it's like go down steep and then right back up steep. And then again, so it's kind of like a little roller coaster along this upper part of the trail um i mean it's not it's not too bad but it's it's kind of a pain yep i gotta go down again so that's what i'm dealing with until i get uh, a little bit lower then probably gonna try and book it down but i'll get some pretty shots of the mossy forest but yeah this is a bit of a pain
I am in the final leg of this trail. Got back down off the snow and into the beautiful lower portion of the forest. And I'm about half a mile from the parking lot. But I'm going to just go ahead and wrap up now. Um, because I got to get going to beat traffic on the way back. Um, but this was amazing. Um, I don't think I could have asked for a more perfect day. And I've done Granite Lake twice now. And if you're going, I do recommend doing it once the lake is melted out because I think this lake is prettier. The lake itself is prettier when it's all melted out and you can see those beautiful reflections. But getting it to myself on the first day of spring and getting to enjoy this amazing weather has been phenomenal and it is fun getting to see certain places that I've seen before in the snow because like that changes things a lot so very very fun um and I also wanted to say I don't make a big deal about this stuff but the channel recently passed 400 subscribers which is kind of crazy um so I wanted to say thank you for watching and following along I like making these videos and sharing them with people sharing how pretty Washington and a lot of other beautiful places are um so thank you um and got a lot going on this year so hopefully you'll stay entertained <laughs> anyway um i am gonna bang out this last half mile down to the trailhead um here are my favorite pictures from the trail today god this was amazing thank you so much for watching